Hey, Psych2Goers, welcome back to another video. Let's get into it. What are your eating habits? Although it's not something we give a lot of thought to, our eating habits and table manners can actually reveal a lot more about our personalities than we realize. Our eating habits are a natural and often unconscious extension of our most salient qualities and character traits. So if you're curious to know about your eating habits, here are six of the most common eating habits and what they say about you. Number one, eating slowly. Are you always the last person to finish eating? If so, you've probably been told to hurry up with your meal and eat faster. Slow eaters tend to have type B personalities. That is to say, people who like to eat slowly prefer to live in the moment and savor every enjoyable experience they can. Calm, laid back, and easygoing, they like to take their time with things and live life at their own pace. And though they are sometimes said to put themselves first and prioritize their own wants and needs ahead of others, there's nothing wrong with wanting what's best for yourself every once in a while. Number two, eating quickly. On the other hand, you have people who eat too quickly and finish their food in just a few minutes. If you're always the first to get up from the table or first to empty your plates, you may be a fast eater. People like this are known to be highly conscientious and fastidious. Masters of multitasking, you may have a tendency to overachieve or have a competitive streak and drive to succeed. Because of this, you may find that you're very disciplined and self-motivated. Number three, picky eating. Are you very particular about your food? Maybe you have certain foods you don't eat or restaurants you don't go to, or perhaps you need to have your food cooked a certain way, otherwise you don't eat it. While it's good to be health conscious and be concerned about what you put into your body, a study by Filer and Egloff has shown that those who are picky eaters at a moderate or severe degree often struggle with feelings of anxiety, depression, and ADHD. Number four, organized eating. Another common eating habit a lot of people have is organized eating. Some examples include eating only one type of food at a time, not letting your food touch each other, or always making sure to cut your food into little pieces before eating them. Does this sound familiar? Well, if you're someone who falls into this category, then it's likely that you're someone who is thoughtful, self-sufficient, and has a very tidy and organized personality. Perhaps you enjoy making plans and thinking ahead, because you don't do well in disorderly or unpredictable situations. Number five, adventurous eating. Are you always experimenting with your food or mixing things that don't usually go together? Perhaps you like to try unique and exotic flavors and dishes every time you go out to eat. If so, you may be an adventurous eater who's passionate and spontaneous. You may be someone who's brave and a bold risk taker and craves excitement and fun. A study by Vasella and Grebinova showed that people who are adventurous eaters are seen as more confident, outgoing, interesting, and popular. Number six, chewing or eating loudly. Have other people complained that you eat too loud? If you tend to have trouble eating quietly, whether because of your chewing or because you often talk even with your mouth full, then it's likely that you're a lively, talkative, and extroverted person. Because of your positive, relaxed, and self-assured attitude, you don't really care about what other people think or worry about being judged by them. This may be why you're often described as open-minded, nurturing, and an all-around friendly person who cares deeply about the ones you love. Which eating habit do you think you have? Let us know in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, be sure to like and share this video with those who might benefit from it. Subscribe and hit the notification bell icon to get notified whenever Psych2Go posts a new video. The references and studies used in this video are added in the description below. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in our next video.